David, you made it into the second round. How would you sum all that up? Um, it was exactly as I thought it would be, Jack, and exactly how I predicted prior to the game um, that uh, the Wellers would come here, you know, far in the belly, nothing to lose. Um, Big Gary Smith would have them, you know, highly motivated. And let's be honest, for the first period, you know, they they knocked the ball about better. You know, I, I said to our own players at half time, they were holding the ball up better up front. They were supporting the play. They were winning second balls more, more than us, and they were moving the ball quicker. Um, and then we we had sort of several conversations with individual players as to maybe what we could do better. And I thought second half then we certainly were more dominant um, and, and, and certainly played better. Um, the Welder still made it very difficult for us, mm -hmm. of that there's no doubt, and people will not for remember this as much as I will, but Jordan Williams had to make two very good saves. Um, but uh, over the piece, um, you know, Paul McElroy came on. We, we simply left Paul out tonight just to give him a rest. He's run, run, he runs more miles than anybody else. Yeah. You know, he's he's absolutely relentless and tired. You know, and, and, and tireless, so to speak. So, but I felt that you know, just over the last couple of games, not maybe just as sharp because we've been asking so much of him, but always knowing we had him there. And Paul came on and, and opened the scoring. Then a quite unbelievable free kick from from Ryan. Ram Wade. Um, so I, I don't think anybody could say that we, we didn't deserve you know, to go through, but it was every bit as tough as I, I thought it would be. And credit has got to go to Gary Smith and, and, and to the, the Welders for uh, you know making such a, a game of it. Did you raise your voice at half time? Because we did lift it, and a lot of players were moving the ball sharper, quicker. I would a conversation, Jack. <laughs> in a, conversa in a conversation, <laughs> you know. So, uh, and then you know, and the it's it's always down to the players, Jack. You know, it's always down to the players. And what you do, it you know, your job is is to help and to encourage and, and and to point things out to them, and and to give them a you know an analysis which which helps them then bounce off. So that's simply what happened. Two players uh, I would pick out, particularly in the second half when we did improve. The skipper, I thought, played uh, more like the skipper, uh, Leroy, and uh, I thought young Daniel, as we were saying in the last interview, he's acclimatising quite well. Daniel is is getting better with each game. Uh, ironically, I, I think maybe not just as good today as he was on Saturday, um, but Saturday he, he, you know, he really raised the bar. I thought Leroy was excellent. The way he has embraced the captaincy of the club, um, how he very quietly goes about his business, how he's made a point of looking after those players who have come new to the club and new to the town, yeah. and how then he carries that responsibility out on the pitch. Um, I thought he was absolutely excellent. I would say even first half, I, I actually had to point out you know, to our midfield that out of our midfield, I thought the only one that was getting about the place was Leroy, and I thought said, you know, he's having to do the work of three men here. And we got a response to say from the other players, but for me, Leroy did very well, and I'm so very proud of him, Jack. Just how he's going about his business, you know, off and on the pitch, and uh, he's really is, a, is an absolute credit. And his fitness level is phenomenal. His fitness level is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, ridiculous. We actually have to be careful. Because if you remember, we lost him for many, many games last year, yeah. and that was because he actually, outside of of training here, he overtrained. So we need to be wise. But he's a year wiser, and uh, knows now what his body needs, and also what his body doesn't need. So, but certainly Leroy tonight epitomised what I thought was a a good second half performance, clean sheet, and through to the next round. And what do United need on Saturday in the derby at the? Valley Castle Road. Well, well, we'll turn our minds to that as, as the week goes on, Jack. Um, obviously, Coleraine have, have, have done very well over this last period. You know, they're they're enjoying a period of, of being in the ascendancy, as we did a couple of a couple of years back when maybe things weren't going just as well for them. Um, the venue pitch, so we'll see how that that will go. Interesting. Um, but we, we know how tough it will be. You know that the, they've. Really good side with some good players and players who have got good experience about them. 
you know, when I think of some of the, the, the seasoned professionals who have been with Oren, you know, right from an early age, um, who he has blooded and developed, and, and, and now they're, they're, you know, Coleraine are getting, getting the benefit of that. Mm. You know, and I'm hoping that, you know, further down the line, the young men that we're bringing in, if we can keep them with, with us, then will, will reward us as well. But Saturday will be a tough match, Jack. Yeah. But we're looking forward to it. Yes, it's part-time against part-time, and they've lost two of their five league games. Well, I wouldn't read too much into that, Jack. You know, let's think about their last result. They go to Windsor Park, the home of the champions, and they draw one each. Big result. You know, and from what information I'm getting through, they're unfortunate not to get all three points. Yeah. You know, so we know how tough it will be. And and and, and uh, but these are the games that you, you love and you look forward to. Good luck on Sunday. Cheers, Jack.